everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here my name is Lily and in today's video I am going to be giving you five tips on how you can turn your day around so tip number one and this is something that I literally tell everybody so if uh, anyone that knows me really well is watching this you know exactly what I'm about to say and that is meditate now I literally swear by meditation it is my be all or end all in terms of my mood my productivity my focus all of that kind of stuff and there is so many different types of meditations that you can do out there that can really help you turn your day around. So if you've just had a day where you literally just feel like everything's going wrong and you just can't deal with anything anymore, you just want to go home and just ugh, try a release meditation. Three minutes will help, but obviously the longer that you can have a chance to do it, the better. Definitely recommend maybe just after work, for example, if you've had a really long day at work and you wanna be going to the gym, but then you can't be bothered because, oh, you've had one of those days. Before you even leave for work, maybe you're in the car, you haven't actually left the car park, do a release meditation. Just release all the negativity, release the thoughts, calm your mind and attracts positive energy. Tip number two would be go outside or even just leave whatever you're doing for like five minutes. So I used to find that this really, really helped during uni especially. So I was a fashion student at uni and any time that I felt like I was just <sighs> losing my mind, I would genuinely just go outside. I'd just be like, drop everything and just go outside. Just sit out there for a minute, just cool off, vent, do whatever, but just leave that atmosphere, leave that environment, go down, get a coffee, get a glass of water, eat something, do something different. Just get away from that situation, go outside, just leave the room, do something that's just gonna distract your mind from what you are doing and then come back to it. Tip number three is music. Listen to music. Music is such a powerful way to turn your mood around. I'm almost certain that everyone has that one song that when they listen to just get really, really like nostalgic and just it takes them back to like 2013 and going clubbing at uni and drinking loads and having a great time or whatever. I don't know. Music is genuinely such a good way to use and utilize to turn your mood around. So, you know, when you're in the best of moods, look for new music and just make a really like upbeat playlist. There's probably loads on Spotify anyway. That's what I use. There's probably loads on Apple Music if that's what you use too. But just make a playlist of the songs that you really like that just make you want to get up and dance and do that. Tip number four would be FaceTime someone, genuinely. Sometimes you just need to vent it out and it is the best thing ever. So just FaceTime your best friend, FaceTime your mum, FaceTime your brother, I don't know, whoever you feel closest to, to just bleh. FaceTime that person, just get it out, you know? Get it out. I'd recommend FaceTiming someone that genuinely makes you laugh so that they can kind of take the piss a little bit and just lighten the mood. But genuinely having a conversation and just talking about it with someone that's kind of like an outside perspective can really bring attention to whether this is something that's actually like annoying or maybe it's just the, the environment that you're in that's kind of making you feel like that, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Tip number five is to genuinely write a gratitude list. And I know that people hate that. People are just like, oh, I'm having a shit day. Like, let me just have a shit day. That's all well and good. But sometimes just shifting your mind, shifting your focus, really does help turn the day around because especially on a day where you've had a really hard day, just giving yourself a minute to just stop and think, okay, do you know what? What went well today? What did I enjoy? What can I take from this? What went well? What am I grateful for? <laughs> It really does help because sometimes, I mean, it's not even sometimes, it's all the time, really. Negativity is so overpowering in the mind. It's really, really dominant and it's very easy to get sucked into it, to just dwell in it, to stay in it. It's just, mm, try and turn your day around, try and just focus on the positive and allow, of course, allow yourself to, you know, have a, you can have a bad day that's not 
an issue and you can get stressed and all this and that but it's just understanding that okay I can't change anything that's happened so what can I look back on and just think okay at least that happened that's good that that did that I adapted really you know maybe you've got a stressful situation because things didn't turn out the way you thought well you can just think do you know what I adapted really quickly I could have handled it better but I did adapt to it eventually so I'm proud of the fact that I adapted to it eventually just always try and look at the positive side of things and these are just five like easy tips that you can use to just turn your day around I always write a gratitude list in the morning just because it gets me in a positive mindset on the get-go but I have had days where it's literally just like feels like everything's a bomb just about to go off but when you just give yourself a moment to actually reflect and internalize and just remind yourself that it's like these are things that you can't control you can't control external happenings so just always focus on how you can react to stuff that is the absolute best way to deal with the day-to-day -day chaos because life is chaotic so stop trying to not make it chaotic Turn your day around by internalizing, not externalizing. Don't fix external issues. Don't try and fix other people. Always fix yourself. So how can I improve? How can I be better at this? How can I calm myself down? What's going to work? that will literally just give me a different perspective. So I really hope that these five tips have kind of helped and maybe just given you a bit of a different idea. Some of them are a little bit, I think they're always just out there and most people do them, but you know, maybe just hearing it from me helped you as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week with another one. Thanks, bye.